All right. And it started here in just a minute. Good evening. Or at least it's evening for me. <clears throat> we are going to gonna do some work today. Uh, do more work with Dashkin. <laughs> Dropping everything over here. So yesterday we were working on a lot of physics stuff. And today we're going to be pretty much doing the same thing. Um... Because that's what we need to do. Let's make sure all the streaming stuff's set up properly. Excellent. So, let's see exactly what we're doing today. <clears throat> let's see where we left off. I got my notes written down here. My notes are telling me that step one and two have incorrect uh, point of origin. They're too far out from the wall. They should instead be flush with the wall. <clears throat> So we're going to start off by fixing that. I think that's the right call. And we're just doing we're just doing C++ development today. So should be it'll be slow. It'll be just work. We're just doing work today. It is Saturday. So Spending my weekend doing doing the work on the projects. Got to do it. You got to do it. That's how it is. So let's see exactly what we got going on. So if I remember properly, it's basically that when we're starting off with our when we're starting off with our raycast, we should be we're actually using this point and we're casting this point up. And what we should be doing is we should be actually um, starting with this point and going up. Uh, for our raycast. So that's what we need to do. So let's go see exactly what's going on with our sweeps.
So you can remove some of these debugging things that we have in here. We don't actually probably need that vertical nudge anyway. We are putting in a lot of little hacks last time to try to, you know, figure out exactly what was going on with our, with our stuff. So step one start is the corner. And we're setting that to the very corner of our object. And that's not, that's not correct. We need to not do that. We need to actually move it to... Um, how are we going to do that? So what is the actual position? So we've got like this box right here. And this is our point of origin and this is our normal um, and our perpendicular to our normal. So we've got this guy and basically what we need to do is we need to get the, um, the vector from this point to here and we need to add it to the corner. So we need to take the point of collision so we can get this vector right here and how do we get this one well, we know the direction of um, hmm. I mean, we could cast a ray out and get the collision that way, but it's not really a very good idea. I'd rather be able to project some sort of vector. I mean, we could take this vector here, and then we could project it onto this vector. So we could, like, take this one, and then basically we've got this vector here, and we project it onto here, so we'd have this vector. Like, if that's the normal... Like this is that vector. If we project it on there, we're going to get this, which would give us that, which doesn't give us jack shit. Hmm. It's a question. Well, is there a better way? We need to somehow get what would have been the collision there. Well, I mean, if we do a raycast, we can get that position. We don't want to do an extra raycast, though. Uh, if we put this on the normal, and then we, like, added this down here, um, that's not good either. <clears throat> Because basically, like, if we if we took this vector here and we like, you know, we added the normal. Well, let's see. We know the y coordinate. The y coordinate is going to be the min of the corner. I mean, yeah. The the y coordinate is we don't know the y. We know the z. So z equals the uh, the min. So it's going to be the the corner the corner min there on the right. And the y coordinate is going to be when the normal. <clears throat> Could do the slope of the line, right? See where the line intersects with um, with our height.
So we could do like the slope of the, the normal. Let's see where it equals. So it's like the. So it's going to be like if we have the slope, the slope is, let's just say one. Well, yeah, problem is slope could be infinity. So we need to do a like uh, a line a line ray intersect. So we could do a line plane intersection. Um, we need point 0.1, point 0.2, and the plane origin and the plane normal. You need to make sure that they're not parallel before calling. Yeah. Need a piece of paper.
Yeah, because we can't just do a ray cast. We actually need to find that exact point over there. Well, is that actually true? Or are we just starting our sweep, our step one at um, not at the corner, but at the point of intersection? Because if we use this, this guy, and we're like moving him up, like we basically want to nudge it out. We want to take this point, and if we take the height of the object, and we're basically moving like this by the height of the object, then we're casting in this direction. Oh, I'm crazy. <coughs> What are we getting for the distance? It's going to be our height times i. So the reason that we were doing this was because basically taking this, moving up by our height, and then casting over, and those are going to be our... Yeah, so all we need, these are just the discovery rays. So it really doesn't matter. Um, Because I think this will work just fine if we just use the impact point. Like, step one, start should not be the corner. It should be the impact point. Let's go take a look at that. The normal to the collision. So the movement direction impact point is going to be this guy. So let's see, it was the corner, so we're going to try effector step one start equals impact point plus, um, basically we're going to add a very small number to move it out of the wall. So we're going to want the movement sweep collision normal. And we want to multiply that by a very small number so we can move ourselves out of the wall. And the direction that we're gonna 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 move is gonna be perpendicular to the normal. And this should we're gonna see this should probably work. So we should see no change in the movement. Um, the only difference should be that I shouldn't have to fudge in there the horizontal nudge. So I should be able to take that back down to a reasonable fudge value. And you can see our numbers are totally freaking wrong, aren't they? Yeah, it's because we're using the impact location, um, which is incorrect. We we want to use the impact point. Yeah, location is wrong. Are we actually using this anywhere besides right here? Because, <laughs> yeah, that could explain a few things. Uh, the location is not the actual... Um, the location is the location of the the object after the sweep. It is not the impact point. The impact point is different. Uh, but at least looked like it was doing the right things. I'm looking right. It's close enough to being right. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right.
I'm just gonna be talking to myself here on stream because I guess I guess everybody's asleep today. They're not. Everybody was was watching yesterday, and they's like, "Nah, I don't want to watch that guy anymore." Kirk's Kirk's boring. All right, this is looking a lot nicer, isn't it? Excellent. That's what we want to see. Now let's let's take off the um, that horizontal nudge is at ten right now, which horizontal nudge is the amount of distance we're giving our vector in this direction. So for for ray two step two, um, that's basically how far we are going, and we're going pretty damn far, which we don't need to do. Well, we shouldn't have to do. It means it means we got problems if, if that's what we're doing. So we're not going to do that. We're, we're just trying to clean up all of our little hacks because they'll come back to bite us eventually. All the hacks. We should just pop right up there without the horizontal nudge. So that's exactly what we want. Let's go run off to the right and make sure that we can traverse up all these slopes and do all the things. Yeah, it's looking, it's looking pretty, pretty good. Emotion, I'm pretty happy with it. Just gonna run around, make sure we can, we can do all the things. And let's, yeah, let's get all over that edge. So this is what we're looking for. Um, so I see exactly why we're failing. So starting impact sweep. It's all these things. And if we look at it. That's exactly what we're getting here. The impact normal is negative one, the movement direction. Yeah, so the impact normal is wrong. The impact normal that we're getting here is in the negative direction for y. I mean, yeah, and that's that's not right. It should be should be not that. We're stuck back with this frickin' math that's wrong. What we're doing is we're taking this impact point and uh, the movement sweep collision normal times a tiny float. We're basically moving a little bit up from the impact point. And when we ray trace, um, step three start, step three direction, and step three distance is going to be physics far enough. <coughs> So we're ray tracing this, which is what we should be doing. So we've got our this guy's basically saying it's straight up. Sweep one distance. Sweep two distance is horizontal traverse. 
So is it that we just basically set this thing wrong here? I don't think it is. The um the sweep two distance is just a little bit too far, I'm pretty sure. And we're just we're just poking around at this thing. Because this is basically what happens when you have a lot of little hacks and stuff like that. Is when you actually start getting stuff correct, your little hacks and things like that start screwing up the rest of it. So we're trying to remove all the little bits and bobs that shouldn't be there. Looks like it's just colliding with the corner on that, so. The vertical nudge actually takes it <coughs> farther up and to the right, and the outward nudge is what's actually moving it. The outward nudge takes the step three impact normal and it moves it out by the normal of the impact. So what we want is this. I want to see which one of these guys are colliding. So, let's see what this looks like. So the vector size, and then we have the horizontal traverse, and the horizontal traverse is 0.2, the outward nudge is 0.2. Um, we probably need to move, like the outward nudge needs to go a little bit farther, I think. And the outward nudge is basically we're taking the normal and the thing that we we raycast over and found and then we moved ourselves kind of in that direction a little bit though we don't want to move ourselves too far yeah it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a of a game to find the right balance for what we need So it's a sweep two impact, not a sweep one impact.
It looks like we're definitely moving our box on top of it. It's just we're moving too far um, down. Sweep to position. Outward nudge dot Y. So we're not ever going to move backwards. So the mantle outward nudge. So it might be that the impact normal is basically a, a zero, so we need to make sure the outward nudge is something. If we're just outwardly nudging something, then why don't we just actually just set it to a value? We'll just set it to one. Or in this case, yeah, so it's just like vertically. Now we're just doing the up vector. So we just negate that and we'll be we will be fine. So yeah, just by, it looked like our impact normal actually was screwed up. So it looks like we're now but again, it's a sweep to impact and it has to do with the slope of this thing. Like you can see our rays are going up there properly and things like that. But it's that we're not moving ourselves up far enough when when we sweep two. So what is the distance for sweep two and why are you wrong? So the sweep two position is sweep one position plus the sweep one distance times the sweep one direction. The sweep one distance is the projection vector. Um, so we're projecting the step three impact location minus the corner. The step three impact location minus the corner. And we're projecting that onto the perpendicular. So we're like taking this vector. And it's just not far enough to actually clear the object is what it looks like. We're not actually moving our because sweep two is failing for because we're impacting. What's up, Ace Ron? How are you doing today? We're sorting out just the final small bits of some more collision issues that we've been having. So I think it's that we're not actually moving our, we're not getting a far enough, we're not actually hitting the top of the next object, is that what's going on? 
So it's going to be our step two. It's just not far enough, so we're going to... Like, we had this at 10 earlier, and that was working for us. Yeah, well, um, we're just, we're kind of rolling our own movement here. Dash, uh, I'm working on Dashkin, which is kind of a high-speed platformer. So, um, right now I'm, I'm getting the movement for moving along the ground and doing some raycasts in order to kind of move us, or raycasts and sweeps in order to find exactly how to move normal to the surface and, like, stay glued to the surface properly when we're rolling around. And, you know, keep our velocity constant and all that fun stuff. And we got the debugging here. It actually shows us, like, what kind of uh, traces are going on. Maybe I should zoom in even further with this camera. Probably what I should be doing. It's the orthographic. Yes, yeah, the camera ortho width. And we're going to set that to five hundred. Actually, what is it? Yeah, probably just 500. Uh, well, it's pretty similar to like what you do in Unity. And I mean, you can just to actually just move something. You just set as transform. It's pretty simple. And we've got all these physics checks that we can do like ray tracing in a direction or sweeping shape in a direction um, and we're sweeping against various collision channels so unity has all those collision channels unreal has pretty much exactly the same thing where you've got various collision channels that you can set and test against and that's pretty much what we're doing And there are lots of, there are like moving controllers and other things that you can use kind of off the shelf in Unreal. We're not doing that. And it's mainly just kind of, we're getting the math, we're trying to get the math proper for our physics stuff because it's super important. We're a platformer. If we have bad math for a movement, like, we're screwed. So now we should be able to see closer. Because what I think is happening is I think the ray for step two is not correct. And it's again, sweep two is impacting. So sweep two is impacting because we're not adding in the normal to the surface enough of it. We're, we do need to add in a bit of that normal. So we are we're getting the right basic stuff 
it's this um it's basically this guy is this outward nudge is wrong we need to actually move it out a little bit just a very small bit to make it work See if that's the Y that we need. Just a little bit more Y, which is backwards in this case. That's looking correct, but let's see if we can get ourselves stuck on it. All right, well, let's keep running along. Let's see what we got. What else we can get stuck on? And let's run back down the slope. He's going faster than the camera. Uh... We should mantle straight up here. We do. Run over ourselves. Get over here. Run up some stairs. And we're gonna run down the slope. Let's make sure we can run back up the slope when we do. So this is this is looking a lot better. So it's this guy right here basically that we are. having trouble with and we are impacting looks like we need a little bit more for our outward nudge and a little bit more for our movement so we'll do that I'm 
basically right now we're dealing with vector map precision issues with sweeping and casting and all those sorts of things. So we're kind of having to move out of an object so we can then collide with that object and all that sort of stuff. So our sweep 2 is going to have the distance that we're actually traveling um, normal to the collision. Where is our normal? Maybe this is just what's wrong. Maybe we shouldn't be moving normal to the collision. Like, we're moving in this direction. We should be moving in this direction instead. Because we just put ourselves right here. We put ourselves right here. Like we project it onto this vector. What we should actually be doing is projecting over here. So we need like a longer line, it looks like. And then we'll sweep by the normal of that surface. So we actually need... Okay, this is what's going on. We need... So we cast up and we hit here. We need this vector. So it's... Or basically, it's going to be this direction, and it's going to be something that intersects with this line. So we have this vector. Is it the reflection of this vector? Like we just rotate it by 90 degrees and add it? Let's see. So we have gone up, over, down, we've hit here, we've got, I guess this, we've got this vector down to our corner, and what we want to do is, and if we were just projecting, we're basically moving this object out to here. We did it here. This is going to be down here. So it's definitely longer. This one's actually going to want to move the corner. So we want this location. Oh man. exactly are we doing the position is the sweep one position plus sweep two yeah plus the direction is the impact location the distance is the impact location minus the projection vector plus the corner the direction is normal to the collision so we are It seems like we should be doing a farther outward move 
We should actually be moving so that we can move normal to the surface that we're going to be getting onto. So our distance is actually going to be greater. And what is the actual distance here? Step three impact vector minus so it's the impact vector minus that. So we're taking the 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 vector that goes like that. And we're getting the distance of the we're subtracting the projection vector minus the corner, uh, plus the corner, which is So that's the, is that the distance vector? And that should move our object. Kind of along, that's how far we're gonna move. We should be moving. a small amount. What was our step two direction? It's normal to the collision. All right. The distance seems wrong, like Oh, it's not the most interesting content, but I have to do work. So we have to move this object. I think it's it's the start location and direction that are wrong. We need to move perpendicular to the normal, and we need to move the distance for that move needs to be Like if we take the if we take the step three location minus the bottom right corner and we project it onto the normal, the inverse of the normal, we will get a vector to the point there. So we need to get the f vector, we need the it's going to be the step three impact location. And we're going to subtract the corner. So that's going to be the vector to step 
3. And then we do f factor. We are going to project onto the inverse of the normal. So this one is going to be the this is going to be the direction of travel. It's, this is going to give us the direction of travel and also the distance to travel is what it looks like. Actually, no, this is going to give us the point that we can then subtract to get the vector that we need to move for step for sweep one. That's what it looks like. So this is going to be the, we'll call this point 0.4. Point 0.4 is going to equal, well, direction to 4 is going to be the, we're going to project this vector onto it. So it's the negative step three normal, step three impact normal. No, it's not the, it's the collision normal. It's going to be vector to step three, project onto so that'll give us that vector. And basically we need to subtract, um, we need to do step 3 minus, well that's, that's the direction we should travel for sweep 2, and that's also the distance we should go for sweep 2 is what it looks like. Because that should put our bottom right corner, if we moved far enough, that would put our bottom right hand corner right on right on that discovered position so that is going to be not only the distance it's going to be both so sweep two direction is going to be the direction four The sweep two distance is also going to be that. And the sweep one distance is going to need to be different. The sweep one distance is going to need to be the projection vector that size. No, it's not going to be the projection vector. Well, actually that should, that should be it. That should actually work. So what was going on here where we were having problems with? Basically we've changed our direction from negative normal to the collision to the direction from... We're